Do you want to learn how to drop ship on Facebook Marketplace using Walmart.com? Well, in today's video, I'm going to be joined with my good friend Paul, who's drop shipped over $3 million over the last five years. We're going to walk you through step by step exactly what is Facebook Marketplace drop shipping? What is drop shipping? How do you get started? How you can start with literally no money and why right now is one of the best opportunities to take advantage of Facebook Marketplace when starting a drop shipping business. So without further ado, let's dive into the video. Hey, what's up, Steve? Thanks for having me back on the channel. As always, I'm super excited to be here. And if it's cool with you, I just wanna jump right into the computer and start kind of talking about what it is that we're gonna be covering today because people often will ask me when I start telling them about Facebook Marketplace dropshipping, they're like, okay, that sounds great, but what products should I sell? So that's what I kinda of wanna cover in this video because as you're gonna see, it's really not that hard. A lot of it's intuitive, and there is some kind of uh, process that we can look at to find really good products. I kinda of wanna give away some of them right now for you guys. Now, real quick, if you're not familiar with what Facebook Marketplace dropshipping is, let me just show you it real quick so we're all on the same page. And you're gonna see this goes really fast because this is a very, very simple kind of business model. So basically what we do is we find products on other websites like this one on walmart.com. It's a set of four folding chairs. And literally all we do is we copy everything here from Walmart and we paste it into Facebook Marketplace as a new listing, which is exactly what this person did right here. So, I mean, check this out. They have the title right here, which is Mainstay Steel Folding Chair Four Pack Black. And here it says Mainstay Steel Folding Chair Pack Four Pack Black. And then we have the photos here, which you can see they got directly from Walmart. And then we have the description, traditional, uh, oops, here we go. These mainstays folding chairs are reliable and convenient for any seating need. And here it says, these mainstay folding chairs are reliable and convenient for any seating need. So literally they just copied everything from Walmart and uh, so, yeah, from Walmart and pasted it here into Facebook Marketplace. So what would happen is someone like me or, or someone else would come in here, actually buy it by clicking buy now. The money would then go into Facebook from the buyer and then the seller would then turn around, add this item to their cart here on Walmart, go through the checkout process, but instead of shipping the item to themselves, they would go ahead and ship it to the address of the buyer on Facebook Marketplace. That way Walmart ships the item directly to the customer instead of directing it, uh, you know, shipping it to the seller or myself, right? So that makes our lives a lot easier so we don't need any inventory or stuff like that. It's a really like much simpler business model, very beginner friendly, because you don't have all those logistics of like a warehouse, you don't have to worry about shipping charges, you don't have to worry about shipping labels, all that's handled by Walmart, which is awesome. So that's the basic concept of how it works. The question is, do we sell this chair or do we sell something else? So let me kind of show you some product categories that are doing really, really well on Facebook Marketplace right now. And then at the end of the video, I'll give you some really amazing resources if you wanna learn even more about this and go in depth into how to do Facebook Marketplace dropshipping. So the first category I wanna talk about is the category of home and kitchen. So in the home and kitchen category, we see a lot of items like, like seating sets, these uh, four draw dressers, we see these uh, cube storage organizers, uh, a lot of stuff like that because these items do really well. I mean, people love to decorate their homes. They wanna make their homes look perfect and they're willing to spend a lot of money on it. Furniture is one of those things that people know is going to cost a lot of money. So they're willing to spend a lot of money on those items. And the more expensive the items are, the more money you make. So it's just the way that it goes. So, you know, they'll start buying up furniture and then, hey, they see one more piece of furniture here on Facebook Marketplace. That's just another drop in the bucket for them. And they go ahead and purchase it from you. Then you buy from Walmart and ship it to the customer. So, uh, really great items all in these categories. The one, like, let's look at some of these items right here and kind of see 
like this one jumps out at me because it's $199. Let's take a look at it. Uh, it's a fireplace TV stand for TVs, 65 inches. It's uh, $199 plus $99 for shipping, right? Let's see if we can find this on Walmart. So I'll copy down the title. And here I was just looking on Walmart at some furniture sets because in particular, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm getting off topic a little bit here, but in particular, these, these sets do really well. People kind of see these as a bargain, as a deal, and they love them. Whether they're patio sets or indoor sets, these are really, really hot. So these are ones that I would jump on. But let's try to find this TV stand. Uh, this looks like it right here, right? Yeah, here we go. So this is it right here. It's $179 on Walmart and it gets free shipping. And this person's selling for $199 plus another $99 for shipping. They're selling it for $299 and they can get it for just $179. So you can see how much of a markup there is there. And I guarantee you people are buying this. Why? Because furniture does not have an inherent set value. It's not like an iPhone where everyone knows how much an iPhone, a certain model is supposed to cost. With furniture, it doesn't have a set value like that. So when people see it, the value they put on it is determined by the price that you list it for and what they consider the value to be. And the price is gonna be anchored by the first price that they see, which is the price that you put on it. So for $300, someone might see this and say, that's beautiful, that is exactly what I want, that is what I'm going to purchase. I get a lot of questions, do people shop around? Will someone look for this on, on Walmart? And the answer is, yeah, some people will, honestly, but not everyone does. We are looking for the people who are willing to pay more for the convenience of just being able to shop on Facebook Marketplace without having to shop around for those products. And there are a lot of people like that. So yeah, not everyone's going to buy this because they're gonna shop around for it. That's okay, that's not our target audience. Our, ta our target customers are the people who just want the convenience of shopping directly here on Facebook Marketplace. So that's a really good category right there. As you see, the markup uh, is really excellent, which is one of the reasons I love it, just because it doesn't have that sort of set value. Let's look at one more right here. Is this the same one? No, this is a very similar one. Let's check out this one though. This is a six cube storage computer desk for $99 plus another 10 bucks for shipping. Let's see if we can find this one on Walmart. Okay. And see how much this one's being marked up for. So this looks like it right here. I mean, this one is 54 bucks with free shipping and they're selling it for $109 after shipping. So, I mean, plenty of markup there. The person who sells this, even after the Facebook fee, which is extremely low, even after that, they're still gonna have a lot of profit coming in for this product. And then they just buy it from Walmart and Walmart ships it directly to the customer. So this is why I absolutely love the home and kitchen category and furniture in particular. If you're looking for something really with that higher amount of markup, this is a great category to look at. Now the next category is dog or pet, pet products in general. Pet products do really well. And the reason for this, the psychology behind this is different than the last one. In this case, what it is is that people are willing to spend a lot of money on their pets. They don't really, they, they don't really, some, a lot of people, they're afraid to spend money on themselves. But to them, when you're buying something for your pet, you're not really buying it for the pet, right? You're buying it for yourself. So it's kind of like a way to buy something for yourself while still feeling like you're buying it for someone else who's your pet. But psychology aside, the important part is, is that people love to spend money on their pets, whether that's pet toys, you know, blankets for them, bedding for them, the best dog food or pet food for them, all those sorts of things. So I love looking at, the, at pet toys. The one problem with them is that they do tend to be cheaper, so you're not gonna make as much money. Now, one thing I have always tell all my students when it comes to Facebook Marketplace dropshipping is never settle, never just scrape the bottom of the barrel when it comes to Facebook Marketplace. There is plenty of money to be made, so list your item, 
and have a, have a decent markup there, have a healthy markup in there. So you might list like an $8 product like this. If that's how much you're buying it from, from Walmart, you should have it marked up well enough so that it is worth your time and energy to actually go through the process of listing it and then selling it. Because we don't wanna sell items and just make barely any money on it. That's not necessary on Facebook Marketplace where the margins are really healthy and really good. But yeah, lots of great stuff in, in, in the dog toys or just pet products. So I wanna highlight some other things, pet products. Some things that are a little bit more money that you'll look at here are things like dog kennels. They have like these, a lot of times like pop-up dog kennels or these, these metal and plastic dog kennels. These ones are more expensive, right? So there is more room here to kind of have a markup that looks more natural and that people are willing to, to spend extra money on these things uh, th than they would for something like a dog toy. So things like that I would definitely look at because people love, love spending money on their pets. Now the next category I wanna highlight is another one that, again, I'm highlighting because you can have a lot of margin in there, a higher priced items. And these are seasonal items. Anything related, I'm actually gonna combine two categories here. So first we're gonna talk about seasonal items, and at the same time we're gonna talk about tools and home improvement. So seasonal items are any items that sell really well during a certain time of the year. So think like going into Christmas, Christmas trees or Christmas decorations, or going into the spring, things like lawn mowers or weed whackers or things like that. Why do those do really well during certain times of the year? Because that is when they're needed. So people are willing to spend a lot on those products because they want them fast because there's an urgency, right? You need your Christmas tree up fast before, before Christmas comes. You need your lawnmower fast before, you know, right after the snow melts and you need to mow your lawn to make it look nice because your neighbor's lawn looks so much nicer. Different things like that. And if you look at the category, again, because we're combining two here of home improvement, home improvement has a lot of potential for drop shippers because we're looking at expensive items like lawn mowers and weed whackers, power tools, things like that where the price is higher so you again can come in and have a higher margin on those items. So right here I'm looking at these different lawn mowers and things like that. Let's see if we could find like a, I know, let's see. So we go Ryobi lawn mower because one of the websites I really like to drop ship from is Home Depot. Uh, really great customer service, really great products, great prices. And a lot of people, um, you can sell these products on Facebook Marketplace really well. So let's see if we can find a new, all right, here we go, right here. Uh, cordless Edger Ryobi nine inch 18 volt lithium iron power tool. I know this person's drop shipping because it ships, it's a sh it'll ship it to me. Let's see if I can find this on Home Depot. Okay, so copy down the name, search for it on Home Depot. And this looks like it right here. Or is that the one? Let me check. Yep, this is it right here. So selling it for 80 bucks here on Home Depot, and they're selling it for basically $100 on Facebook Marketplace. So for this this one, this is what I was talking about before. I think they should mark it up even more than this. Uh, there's Somebody's gonna buy it for the more expensive price. That's what I would do personally, but hey, even $20 profit, you know, take out a little bit for Facebook Marketplace, please, but not too much. $20 profit is not bad for what you do. Just copy it from Home Depot, paste it on the Facebook Marketplace and it sells. Home Depot will ship it directly to the customer and you just keep like the 20 bucks here in profit, which really isn't that bad. So yeah, these are really great products as well for that reason. So Steve, I hope I was able to show you and like all your viewers kind of the potential that exists on Facebook Marketplace and kind of get your gears turning of different products that you can drop ship. Now this really was kind of like a more broad overview of popular products. Personally, when it comes to listing up products for sale, what I like to do is I like to get more analytical. I like to see the data that says, yes, this is an item that is going to sell well, okay? and it kind of says yes or no. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have a free video series 
for your viewers and they can check it out. And in that series, I go much more in depth into how to do Facebook Marketplace dropshipping. And included in that is a lot about product research. I'll show you how I get that data, how I find the numbers that really tell me, yes, this product will sell well or no, it will not sell well. So if you want that free video training, I'll also cover like how Facebook Marketplace dropshipping works, how it's infecting people's lives, how it's changing people's lives who are doing this, then Steve, I'll give you a link. Maybe you could put it in the description of this video down below. You guys can click it, you can sign up. Again, completely free video series for you. And then um, you guys will get an in-depth training on how Facebook Marketplace dropshipping works. Steve, thanks again for having me on your channel. And yeah, anytime you want me back, just invite me. I'd be happy to make another video like this for you guys.